Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrap Diva 29 Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. I am coming on today because I'm gonna, I have a little Dollar Tree haul. Um, I went in because I was watching a DIY Dollar Tree centerpiece idea for graduation. Um, many of you guys know that my oldest son is graduating this week from high school, super excited. So I've been planning his graduation party and getting ideas. And I saw this really fun um, centerpiece on TikTok and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try that. So um, I got some of the stuff that she used to make the centerpiece. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing some of the items I got and then I'll get into the centerpiece. Um, I found this wooden um, piece and it just reads hello. It has a little string on top and I thought this would be so much fun to like paint um, and just use as like room decor um, for my scrapbooking space. Uh, so I grabbed one of those and then um, I grabbed four of these photo frames and they're seven by seven and this is what I'm going to use to create the DIY centerpiece. Um, in the video, the lady shows you that you take the... Um, the um, photo frames and basically you just glue them together like so so it will like kind of like create a box and then like the fourth one would go on the other side and then you put like foam and then you decorate it with um, these types of balloons and I also got at Dollar Tree I got a couple of them and I also grabbed these pinwheels. I might put these pinwheels in there because the school colors are green and navy. So I got a couple of these, possibly gonna put those in the little centerpiece, uh, but it's super, super cute and I really wanna try it. So that is what um, I got those for. And then moving along, um, I did find this cute little hanging, it's a little tassel plaque, that's what it's called. Um, it says dream big and then it just has a gold tassel and I was thinking I would embellish this maybe cover it with some pattern paper and use it as a decoration um, I just thought that was kind of cute so I grabbed that and I think I grabbed another one with a different color tassel it's in one of these bags moving along they have the um, Hawaiian party hula party um, stuff out right now and I grabbed these really cute coasters they're pineapples and it looks like it's a four packs and I got them in uh, yellow and pink. I thought those are pretty. And then I found this fun bling and this is always fun to use. And I actually do like that it has some really um, giant blings on this little set right here. I hadn't seen this one before and they did have other colors, but I only grabbed pink. And then I did actually find some new straws that I hadn't seen before. So I picked up these straws because these are always fun to, um, create little wands for decorations and especially with the shabby pinwheel and the regular pinwheel that's in my online store scrapdivadesigns.com um, I think it would be perfect especially for 4th of July it has the little stars and then the clouds you could totally use for like a rainbow or unicorn theme um, so I really just kind of liked this set right here as far as those colors and then I also picked up this one and this is in the shore living section so it has like starfish and sea um, seahorses and then it's blue and like a light blue color um, so I grabbed one of those and then in the party section I found these holographic straws and then these rainbow ones I thought those are really cool and then I went straw crazy. I found these ones. These are all things I have not seen before in my Dollar Tree. And I just thought I would go ahead and grab them while I saw them. But these ones have hearts, tiny stars, and then these little um, like striped light blue ones. And then these ones have clouds. How cute is that? And there's even like a little unicorn that you can add to the straws. So like you could use it for a party. Um, but I just thought those are really, really cute. So I had to grab those right there. And then I also grabbed the 4th of July straws that they had in the 4th of July section because that section is out right now as well. And then I grabbed these little party favor boxes. I believe I saw Armin, who's Happy Milk Queen, share these a long time ago. And she made a really cute project with this. Or it may have been something else, but it was some type of favor box from Dollar Tree. So I just went ahead and grabbed it while I was there. I saw it. And then I did get the styrofoam, and this is for the centerpiece um, that I plan to make for the little centerpiece uh, picture frame idea. I got that. And then let me see, what else did I grab? Um, 
Oh, I grabbed some of this foam because I wasn't sure like what I was gonna need for that centerpiece. And then um, I did, last but not least, I grabbed these two little gnomes in the 4th of July section. And I just thought they were really cute. I'll definitely put them on a tiered tray or use them for Memorial Day decorations or 4th of July, but I thought those were really cute. And they were only a dollar. I mean, there's definitely cuter ones at Marshalls and like TJ Maxx, but for one buck, you can't beat it, right? So that is my haul from Dollar Tree. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.